we're here at the Always On event um, down in Santa Monica in beautiful Los Angeles. So you celebrate the top 100 private companies in the world for digital entertainment. We really network with uh, people across many industries. People who I would have never dreamed of, you know, speaking to. Well, we're just super excited to be down here in beautiful Southern California, at beautiful weather out over the Pacific Ocean, and there's so much activity that's just happened uh, here in the last year. Uh, we've learned from our conference that over a half a billion dollars has been invested in startups just in the last 11 months. Uh, we've also learned that they've already had $153 million worth of exits, so some investors are starting to make some money. And uh, we're also learning that uh, old Hollywood is uh, increasingly nervous about all the great startups that are starting to disrupt. Uh, they w do business down here, which uh, obviously translate into great new opportunity to start new companies and make a lot of money. Um, meeting some really interesting companies. Um, Tony Perkins has done a great job organizing this event. There's some some really cool next generation companies here. We've just sort of drilled down on, on six that we're, that we're interested in and we're going to mingle and learn a little bit more about these companies. Well, as always, we have uh, a good representation from our On Hollywood 100 uh, companies, uh, which of course are still private. What's fun for me, uh, and I think they've been on your show on the Hands On TV, but there's Andy uh, Kaplan, who is the president of Sony Entertainment Worldwide. Uh, there's another gentleman, David Goldberg, who's the CEO of Endemol uh, USA, which is the largest producer of television content on the planet. Uh, there's another gentleman named Robert Hollander, who actually uh, helped Nicki Minaj and Justin Be Bieber uh, launch their fragrances, and uh, also Britney Spears as well. So he's made them uh, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, with their own perfumes. I think that the biggest problem that we have is getting exposure. There's a lot of things going on in technology at the intersection of Hollywood that are just brand new. Uh, clearly we saw a lot of technology evolving into the internet. Now that moved into social, now it's moving into mobile. And these kind of events at least bring very different parties together so they can at least talk about some of the issues and discover that some of the new things that are going on and how it might help their business. Well, it's a really important way of connecting people. I mean, there's a number of people here, both on the investor side like us, um, and it's a good way of putting us together with, um, with you know, growth companies that, that require capital as well as networks in order to help them, their businesses grow. And it's a great way to get everyone together in the same room and, um, and really make everyone's network a little bit smaller, which Tony Perkins is all about. All about. He's done a great job. It's, it's great to see uh, people kind of contribute their knowledge to in one public forum, in one central hub, and you know, share what they what they learned and kind of communicate at different ideas, kind of like, you know, kind of like Facebook and Twitter, but like in person. Seeing a massive merging of all these devices. Um, in what we build, we actually treat all of the screens identically. So whether it's a smartphone, a tablet, a television, wearable computing, digital signs, or in-car infotainment, to us they're all the same thing. It's just a matter of what's the screen size and resolution, how much memory and processing power can it support, and what's the operating system. Is that iOS? Is it Android? Is it Microsoft or something else? And what you're seeing over time is that all consumers treat a smartphone just like a television. Uh, they treat a tablet like it's a television. So I think we're finding that um, the size of the device and the screen we watch on is no longer relevant. It's just a matter of getting whatever you want, whenever you want it right now. Well, the, the media industry continues to have some interesting challenges. Um, generationally, we're seeing younger audiences getting farther and farther away from traditional media, and they're embracing all new forms of media, uh, almost bite size. And I watch my own, uh, my own kids who are in their early 20s, uh, how they consume entertainment and media and uh, there's, there's no traditional ways any longer. And what we're learning today is, is that you've got to be pretty much as ubiquitous as possible and make sure your message is heard on many different platforms. 
Well, the biggest uh, gossip that's kind of everybody's talking about around uh, on Hollywood is how uh, Netflix, basically an internet company, produced an Emmy award-winning television uh, show, House of Cards, this year. So that has the traditional studios, like Warner Brothers and Sony, is shaking in their boots uh, because all of a sudden uh, internet companies are funding and producing their own television and uh, movies and so that's going to be a very competitive situation for traditional Hollywood. I think you're seeing a tremendous move away from the traditional mediums um, that were acceptable and what we'll call 1.0 to very interactive platforms where the individual is prominently placed and sharing their ideas and I think we're seeing that through engagement on platforms like Medium, Twitter and a number of other kind of non-mainstream type um, media syndications. Uh, well, it was a beautiful atmosphere, the food was wonderful and um, the conversation was very lively about investment and uh, technology and media. So the, the bridge between the two. Uh, we didn't launch the new social network. We continue to preach the gospel about what we're doing, and we hope to launch at the beginning of uh, next year. Uh, and uh, we're just tremendously happy to be working with Hands On TV because we think that the Brazilian market is a very ripe opportunity to uh, uh, push Always On into that market. And so I think uh, with the partnership with Hands On and uh, our new network, we can do great things together. Thank you.